Hydrangeas are the most reliable flowering shrubs that suit gardens of all sizes. They flower for much longer than most other hardy garden plants, the blooms of some varieties remaining attractive for several months. What's more, they're easy to grow, requiring very little input from you apart from regular watering and feeding with the right fertiliser. One with the correct balance of nutrients to keep them flowering and growing healthily year after year. There are several different types of hydrangea. The mop head and lace cap varieties are the best known and these offer the widest colour range. Some change colour during the course of the growing season and some are influenced by soil type. Pink in alkaline soil conditions and blue in acid. In many cases you can influence the colour using Vitax Hydrangea colourant to maintain that blue colour. Add it to the compost when potting or to the soil when planting your hydrangea in the open ground and then water regularly with a solution of hydrangea colourant during the course of the growing season and that will maintain that blue colour. Some of the more modern varieties of hydrangea are more compact and these are especially suitable for small gardens and growing in pots and containers. Pot grown hydrangeas can be planted at any time of the year and when growing in containers use Vitax Johninus number no. 3 compost. It's much better at holding on to water and nutrients. And when you plant add a handful of Vitax hydrangea feed and remember to repeat that every spring for beautiful blooms and healthy growth. Most hydrangeas will grow in an open sunny position but they prefer light shade. They grow on most soils but they love heavy clay. As the name hydrangea suggests they love water so adding plenty of well rotted manure or garden compost when planting helps to conserve moisture for strong healthy growth. Pruning hydrangeas couldn't be easier. You leave the flower heads on over winter and then cut back to just above a pair of fat buds in early spring. On older plants you can cut out some of the older stems right to the base to encourage new shoots to develop. Other popular hydrangeas include the paniculatas with beautiful conical flower heads and arborescents such as Annabelle with great frothy blooms and soft green leaves. Both of those varieties you cut right back by about two thirds in late winter. After pruning, in spring or at any time during the growing season, apply Vitax Hydrangea Feed. Just sprinkle a handful on the soil around the plant, work into the soil surface with a fork and water thoroughly. Your hydrangeas will respond with fabulous flowers, healthy foliage and the longest lasting flower show in your garden.